So it's a real skill being able to relax. In our lives and in our society, it's really valued the going, 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 planning, 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 input all the time. And so our sympathetic nervous system tends to be quite activated, the adrenaline, and then also the cortisol, our stress hormones. And so when the sympathetic nervous system is more activated, the parasympathetic is less activated. That's our rest and digest. And so it's so important to give the parasympathetic system also time to be more dominant, to switch the sympathetic a little bit down and allow the body to consciously rest, to stop, to slow down. And it is different entirely than sitting down and watching TV is t entirely a different thing. It is where you are switching um, the focus of your nervous system. And so allowing the body to do what we do when we're sleeping, for example, to digest for the reproductive organs, for the glandular system, for the hormones in the body to create balance. And all of yoga is always about this balance. And so, you know, where we're tight, we become a little bit more flexible. Where we're over bendy, where people have super hyper flexibility, working on stability. And so stability, flexibility, working on really focusing and concentration, but also ease and lack of intensity. And that's where yoga is such an amazing practice because there's so many layers of it for us to experience. It's an absolute lifetime journey. And the more we do, the more of the layers we experience and we experience it exactly where we need to be each time. And so tonight's class, we're going to move. And last week, we, I don't think we stood up. This week, we will be standing up. I'm going to move the body because Anasana, the movement practice, is in order to prepare us for meditation, prepare us for rest. For it's in order to allow the body to, you know, get out any tweaks and tightness. And then we've beautiful breath practice, and then we're going to do a lovely shavasana. So let's start by sitting. Enough of me chit chat, right? <laughs> so let's start. And as always, please have all of your equipment, right? So I have cushions, I have a block, that's just because I need one under my hip, and blankets, anything you need to make yourself comfortable. And tonight we're going to really focus on letting go. And the best way to do that is, I'm going to, oh, I better have covered my mic, is to actually exhale. And so we're going to really allow for a longer exhale. Always with pranayama, with breathing practices, it always has to be comfortable. So we don't strain. We don't do anything that's uncomfortable. Okay, so it's always working with our own body and our own breath. So sitting any way that's comfortable. For some people, it might be more comfortable to have your knees bent. It might be more comfortable to be sitting on the chair, whatever works. And close your eyes. and drop in. I know I give a very similar instruction always at the beginning of class. And I actually find it the very similar instruction always extremely helpful. So let's start by stopping. So very consciously now, close the door on what you've been doing up to this point today. So that is in the past. And let's really focus on being fully here, our mind and our body. Begin to notice your breath.
And that skill of being able to switch into presence. And all of you may notice that with this practice, all this regular, consistent practice, that skill is becoming fine-tuned. You're honing your skill, that you have that ability to tap in, and it's okay, the mind wanders, but that you are here now, fully present. And we all are here now, fully present. Have that sense, all of us in this class together, dropping inside. And now as you breathe, I'd like you to breathe in for a count of four. And breathe out for a count of six, five, Four, three, two, one. In for four, three, two, one. And out for six, five, four, three, two, one. And continue just like that. Inhaling for four. And exhaling for six. And feel as you exhale, like you are releasing any tension. We know that we hold on to way more than we need to. We're carrying this bag of stuff around with us, right? Maybe memories, maybe past resentments, maybe lists and plans and ideas. And so with each exhale, let go of that stuff and see, can you become more present? Feel the load come off your shoulders. We'll do two more breaths here. And the last one. And I always say it with breathing and counting. For some people, it really suits to count. And for other people, counting is disruptive for them. It's, it's distracting. And so in that case, you're better going with the feeling of inhaling and having a longer exhale. So whether you're a counter or a sense of feeling person, throughout the class tonight, we'll focus on a longer exhale. So let's come around straight away into cat and cow. And so hands beneath your shoulders and knees beneath your hips, inhaling arch. And then long exhale, round, draw the ribs in. And here, I'd really like you to focus on the breath. So don't worry about having the biggest arch and the deepest um, squeeze of the navel. More think of filling up as you inhale and having a long exhale. You do two more here. And now tuck your toes and push into down dog. And here in down dog, you bend your knees or your legs straight. 
And let's take three breaths here and focus on those long exhales. Now very carefully drop your left knee down and as always pop a pillow or a blanket under this if you have any sensitivity in that knee and bring your right foot forward you can give it a hand okay really nice and now let's ever so slightly straighten that front leg yeah and here if you wish right so if you have two things around the same size you can put your hands onto your cushions or blocks you can put your hand on your front shin if you like or your hands to the floor it never works and then i want you to inhale and lift your chest and then a long exhale and we'll fold over that front leg inhaling for four exhaling for six Let's do three more here, inhaling four. Exhaling six. No rush whatsoever. Two more. Exhaling six, relax your shoulders. And last one. Exhaling six. And very carefully, let's come back into down dog. So any way that suits you to transition, hands down, leg back and pressing back. Let's take two breaths here. Inhaling four. And then exhaling six. And one more. And exhaling six. And now this time drop your right knee and bring your left foot forward between your hands. And then straighten that front leg. We want to draw as if you're trying to draw the baby toes towards your face. So there's this kind of rotation and you can feel it up your leg. And again, hands on blocks or the floor or the shin. Inhale, lift your chest for four. Exhale, fold in for six. Let's do three more. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, fold in. Inhale. Exhale. And last one. Inhaling for four. And exhale for six. Very carefully place your hands, step back into down dog again. Remember down dog can be knees down, no problem. And long exhale. And now very carefully walk your feet to your hands or your hands to your feet whatever works right you can bend your knees and just make your way so your hands and your feet are together and now hold on to your elbows and it's nice to have a generous bend in your knees let your chest rest onto your thighs and let your head go again inhale four and exhale for six Two 
two more. And long exhale. So you are really cultivating. As the breath goes, so does the mind. And so as you're breathing like this, your body is getting a very clear signal to switch to the parasympathetic nervous system. One last one. And now release the hands, bend in the knees, and let's roll up. So take your time slowly rolling all the way up. Really nice. And so we're going to inhale, reach the arms up. Now we've been working on this in the other class. When you reach the arms up, sometimes there's a tendency to arch in the back where the tailbone goes back, right? I want you to do the opposite. I want you to tuck the tailbone under. And so this protects the lower back when we reach up. So reach up. And then as you exhale, you're going to fold forward. So draw the navel in and hinge at the hips and fold all the way forward. Inhale, coming up. And exhaling, fold. Bend in the knees can be a little bit more friendly. Inhaling up. Open the arms wide, tailbone down, protecting the lower back, but opening the chest. And then exhale and fold forwards. Lovely, keep going. So go at your own pace. Have the sense of opening as you inhale. And as you exhale, that long exhale, letting go anything that you need to shed, shed it. Let's do four more. You would notice how lighter you feel. Let go of that stuff and exhale, fold. Really nice. Inhale, reach up. Pause, hold the breath. Squeeze up to the pelvic floor. So squeeze the pelvic floor muscles, hold. Exhale, release the hands down. Really nice. So it steps to the top of the mat and step your right foot back. Now, not too far, not too deep. And then align the hips so the frontal hips are facing the front of the mat. And let's inhale, lift the chest, hands on your waist. And as you exhale, let's fold forward. So right outer hip comes forward. Left hip goes back, and then bring the hands either to your front shin or to a block or a cushion or to the floor, whatever works, right? Inhale, lift your heart for four. And then exhaling for six, folding in over that front leg, right frontal hip forward, left outer hip back. Let's do three more, inhale. And exhale, fold in. Long exhale. Two more. And maybe you can feel your shoulders relax. The length in the spine. As you fold. And one more. A long exhale, folding. And now let's carefully switch legs. So bring the back leg forward and then step the other leg back. And so again, hands on the shin, 
on cushions, on blocks, whatever feels comfortable, right? And let's go again. So think of this outer right hip now draws back. Front left hip draws forward. So strong in the legs. Inhale, chest forward, lengthening. And then feel that length. Keep the collarbones wide as you fold in for six. And three more. Inhaling for four. Lift the chest long in the spine. Exhaling for six. Two more. And one more inhaling. Exhaling. And now step both feet together and slowly roll up. Really nice. Let's bring the feet really wide now. As wide as it's comfortable for you. Arms out as you inhale. And now as you exhale, the left hand is going to come towards the right, either the knee, the shin, ankle, foot, floor, wherever works. And the right arm either onto your right waist or lifting up. And we'll stay here for three breaths. Inhaling four. <laughs> exhaling six and five. <laughs> Hold on, stay there breathing and I'll get rid of them. Inhaling four. One, out you go. Exhaling six. One, out, out. Inhaling four. Exhaling six. And one last one here. Inhaling four. And exhaling six. See, can you twist a little more? And now, a little bend in the knees, carefully coming all the way back up. Really nice. Arms wide as you inhale. And let's go the other side. So right hand towards the left ankle, shin, knee, whatever works. And beyond to the block or cushion. Left hand to your waist or the left hand straight up. Inhaling four. Exhaling six. Inhaling four. The body loves to rest deeply because when we let go of that adrenaline, cortisol, stress hormones, the body can get to doing all the cell repair focusing on really circulating nutrients and less on reacting and responding to external stimuli or to stressful thoughts, emotions. And so it's so fabulous for the body, for the mind to be present and calm. And it's so good for us to be able to tune in and that it's with this loving, kind awareness, there's this gentleness and this real sense of nourishing and nurturing ourselves at a deep level. A little bend in the knees, carefully coming up. Really nice. And now we're going to fold forward. So again, your hands can be on 
your cushion or your block or the floor. Inhale, lift your heart and lengthen. And then exhale, fold in. We'll do four of those. Inhale, lengthen, lift your heart. And exhale, fold in. Sorry, I just have to sort this. Inhaling four. And this long exhale, folding in. Two more. Inhaling, lift your chest, lengthen. And then exhale, fold in. And last one, inhale, lengthen. And exhaling, fold. And let's just stay folding for a few breaths. Keep lengthening the exhale. Become aware of your feet a little bit, so don't collapse into the outside of the foot. Have this feeling of the inside of the foot is active. And then you can feel it up through the inner thighs. As you exhale, sometimes it's nice even to visualize any junk, any stuff you need to let go of. Visualize it falling out of the crown of your head and just being absorbed by the ground beneath you. One more breath here. And exhale. And really nice and that little bend in the knees, hands to your waist. Inhale, come all the way up. And then exhale, step back to the front of your mat. So let's inhale, reach up. And then as you exhale, fold forward. It's a little bend in the knees can be nice. Inhale, lift your heart and lengthen hands to your shins or the floor. And then as you exhale, place both hands down and step your right foot back and bring your right knee down. Hand to your left knee now and inhale. Lift your chest and as you exhale, sink in. Always make sure the front knee is over the ankle. Maybe reach the arms up. And let's actually hold on to our elbows tonight. So hold on to either elbow, inhale, reach up. And then exhale, sink in. Draw your tailbone under, so the pubic bone draws towards the navel, protecting the lower back. Inhale, lengthen, lift up. And exhale, sink in. Long exhale. And one more. Inhale, lift and lengthen. And then exhale and sink in. Really nice. Hands either side of my, your front foot. Step back to all fours. Inhaling here. Exhale, elbows in, chest forward, come all the way to the floor. And so let's reach our arms back, palms down. The tops of your feet, so where your laces are on your shoes, pressing into the floor, the knees are lifting. Inhaling for four, lift your chest. And maybe the hands on the floor for the first few times. 
And then slowly with control, exhale for six, coming down. Let's do three more. So hands floating or hands pressing down, whichever feels good for you. Inhale for four, lifting up. Keep pushing the pubic bone into the knee, into the floor, so you're protecting your lower back. Exhale for six. Have that sense of coming down with control so you're not collapsing down. And two more. Inhale for four. Exhale for six. And the last one. Inhale four. And exhaling six. Place your hands beneath your shoulders now. Inhale up into cobra. And as you exhale for six, drop one shoulder and look over the other one. Inhale back to center. And as you exhale, drop the other shoulder and look over the opposite. Inhale to center and exhale back to all fours and then down dog. Deep inhale and long exhale and now drop your right knee and bring your left foot forward between your hands. And let's start with our hands on our front knee. Inhale. And then exhale, sinking. Again, tailbone under. And now reach the arms, hold on to the elbows. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, sink in. Long exhale. Let's do two more. Inhale, lift up. And exhale. It's so wonderful to stretch the muscles. And it facilitates deep breathing as well. So when we stretch these like the psoas, the front of the hips, inhale. Open in the chest, in the shoulders. It supports deep breathing. And the last one, inhale, lift up. And exhale, sink down. Really nice. Hands either side of the front foot. Step back to all fours. And let's come around onto our back. Really nice. So we're going to come up into a bridge. And again, we're going to move with the breath. So take an inhale here, put your back on the floor, feet are hip distance, knees are bent. And then as you exhale, imprint the lower spine, tuck the tailbone and vertebrae by vertebrae roll up. Long exhale and let the movement be in sync with the breath. When you're all the way up, take an inhale. And then as you exhale, slowly rolling down. Again, vertebrae by vertebrae, like a string of pearls, one at a time, landing down. When you're all the way down, take an inhale. And then exhale, roll up again. Push into the big toe mound of the foot. Inhaling when you're up. And slowly exhale, coming down. So less concerned with getting as high as possible and more with that lovely segmental movement that's in sync with the breath. Inhale here when you're down. And then exhale, articulate up.
Inhaling. And long exhale coming down. But keep going at your own pace. We'll do three more deep breaths. Three more rounds, rather. Listen to the sound of your breath. Mind focused on the breath and the movement. It's very calming when the breath and movement are in sync. And you also need to be concentrating and have a calm and steady mind in order to sink the breath and the movement. Very nice, draw the knees into the chest. Just give it a little rock side to side. We'll take a spinal twist and then we're gonna get into some breath work. So feet wide, toes pointing out and let both of your knees fall to one side. So my knees have gone to the right, so my left arm goes overhead. If your knees went to the left, then your right arm goes overhead. And here again, my knees went to the right, so my right foot goes on my left thigh. You can also leave it off. You don't have to lift it up, okay? It puts a lot of extra work into the side waist and also into the lower back. So if you're sensitively in the lower back, I'd leave your foot down. If your knees went to the left and the left foot lifts up onto the right thigh. And come back to your long, deep exhales. Full inhale. As you exhale, lengthen a little bit more. And now very carefully take your foot off your thigh, come back to center, bring your arm back down and do the exact same on the other side. So if your knees go to the left, the left leg rests on the right thigh, right arm overhead. Your knees went to the right, your right leg on your left thigh, and your left arm overhead. Long exhales. It is such a resource in our lives to have a relationship with our breath and to start to notice the effect of the breath. And it is amazing because we were able to control our breath, right? Making it deeper, longer, shorter, pause. And so we have this technique, this tool available to us that can affect our body, affect our minds. Release the leg off, bring your knees back up and let's come to seated. So we're going to do a breathing practice for about seven or eight minutes. And so make yourself comfortable in a seated position and we'll come into Shavasana afterwards. Excuse me. So the breathing we're going to do, we're going to breathe in for a count of four. We're going to pause and suspend the breath for a count of four. Excuse me, we're going to exhale for a count of six. And then at the end of the exhale, we'll suspend the breath for two. And when the breath is suspended, just feel like it's a pause. It's not, uh, you're not tensing, you're not like 
like when a child holds their breath and they feel that they're going to explode. It's not like that at all. So it's just this very gentle suspension in the breath. And I'll call out the first few rounds. And again, you go with counting or with a felt sense of the length. And then we'll just go at our own pace after I've counted a few. So when you're ready, we'll inhale for four, We'll hold the breath, suspending the breath, to relax the shoulders for four. And now a long exhale for six. Hold the breath out, suspending for two. And then inhale for four. Pause, hold the breath, suspend it. Relax your shoulders for four. Exhale for six. And hold the breath out for two. Inhale for four. Suspend the breath for four. Relax your shoulders. Exhale for six. And hold the breath out for two. My yawn has probably caused you all to yawn. And now continue at your own pace. I gaze to the center of the forehead. Continuing at your own pace, inhaling for four, suspending the breath at the top of the inhale for four, a long exhale of six, and then suspend the breath at the end of the exhale for two. Stay very focused.
Just two more rounds. Stay very focused. And then release your hold on the breath. And just breathe normally. And observe the effect. Now, without disturbing this inner calm and peace, carefully come to lying on the floor, on your mat, and make yourself really comfortable with blankets, pillows, bolsters, And so lying on your mat, allow your body to completely relax. Feel your eyes sink back towards the back of your head. Feel your face relax. Your jaw, your tongue, down your shoulders, your arms, your fingers. The sense of Letting go of any holding. Your body deeply resting. And your awareness very soft, so it's not intense at all. As your awareness goes through your body, Relaxing each part, your chest, your stomach, your back, whole pelvic area, down your legs, shins, ankles. Right down to your feet. I'm going to put on some nice music. 
Let me rest here.
Stay resting. And whenever you're ready to make your way either to bed or back up to sitting to rest completely, I'm going to and thank you so much for joining me this evening and see you all soon. <laughs>